Have you seen a slideshow presentation at school? A slideshow presentation is one in which slides of information are displayed one after another long enough for the viewers to understand the content of the slides. A slideshow is a type of multimedia presentation. Multimedia means using multiple media, audio, images and animation or videos as ways of communication. It makes learning interesting. Microsoft PowerPoint is an application software that allows us to create multimedia presentations on a computer. Let's learn about some of the important features of MS PowerPoint. Follow these steps to open MS PowerPoint. First click on the Start menu. Then select All Programs. Then click on MS Office. After that choose Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. A PowerPoint slide will open on the screen. These are some of the important features of MS PowerPoint. The locations where data can be entered are called placeholders. The notes area at the bottom can be used to create notes. Text, pictures and charts can be inserted in specific placeholders on a slide. To create a new presentation, follow these steps. First, go to the File tab and select New. A task pane appears on the right. Then select Blank Presentation for a plain slide. The Slide Layout task pane appears. Then select a layout from the drop-down box according to the information you need to put on the slide. To add information, follow these steps on the title slide. Click in the Click to Add Title placeholder and type the title of your presentation. After that, click in the Click to Add Subtitle placeholder and type in the subtitle. To add a new slide, select New Slide from the Slides group on the Home tab. These are the steps to insert shapes. First, click the Insert tab. Then click the Shapes option in the Illustration group. A drop-down list appears. Select the required shape and create it by dragging the pointer over the slide. To insert clip art in a presentation, follow these steps. First click on the Insert tab. Then click on Clip Art in the Images group. The Clip Art panel opens. Click on the Go button. The panel reveals a group of images. Select the required image. The image appears on the slide. You can drag the image with the mouse pointer to the required location in the slide. To insert a video or audio clip on the slide, follow these steps. First click the Insert tab. Then click on either video or audio in the Media group. The drop-down sub-menu opens. After that, select the required option. The dialog box will reveal the audio or video clips stored in the computer. Choose the required video or audio by clicking on it. The required video or audio clip will appear on the slide. Background adds a dramatic effect to the slide. Follow these steps to add a background. Click on the Design tab. Then click the drop-down arrow of the Background Styles feature. The Format Background dialog box appears. It will show several options. The Gradient option offers several options for shading. The Picture or Texture Fill feature offers several options for background texture. You can select the required option and click Apply to All to manage the changes for all the slides. Click on the Close button to make changes for that particular slide. The presentation can be viewed in various ways. To change the view of the presentation, click the View tab. The View option provides several viewing options. These are some of the viewing options. Normal View allows the user to focus on a single slide at a time. The Slide Sorter view displays the thumbnails of the slides. The Slide Show view allows the user to view the slides 
as they will look in the final presentation. You can also add animation effects to the objects on the slide. To choose an animation style, follow these steps. First, select the object on the slide to which you wish to add animation effects. Click on the Animations tab. Then click the Add Animation feature in the Advanced Animation group. A drop-down panel appears. The panel shows several effects and four options. Entrance, Emphasis, Exit and Motion Paths. You can choose any animation from the sub-menu of each. If you move the pointer over any of the options, it provides the relative animation to the selected object. If you click on the play button in the animation pane, it provides a preview of the animation. The slide transition feature allows you to decide how slides follow each other during the presentation. Follow these steps to set the slide transition effect to your presentation. First click the Transitions tab. Then select a slide transition step from the group. Select the speed of transition and the accompanying sound from timing group. Then you can select whether you want the slide transition to occur by a mouse click or automatically after a certain time period. You can also choose Apply to All. You can click on Preview to view the transition in normal view. There are several options to choose from in the Slide Show tab. From Beginning starts the show from the first slide. From Current Slide starts the Slide Show from the current slide. Custom Slide Show displays only the slides you select. Setup Slide Show sets advanced options. Hide Slide hides the current slide during the presentation. You can move from one slide to another manually too by choosing one of these options. Clicking the left mouse button. Pressing the space bar. Using the arrow keys on the keyboard. To move out of the slideshow, press the Escape key. 